Hello and welcome again to the not so weekly weekly news from RC Model Reviews. Different backdrop, things moving around, gonna reorganize stuff, get these walls up, because I've got to say that the southern summer is almost gone, which of course means that the northern spring is nearly here. This isn't the northern spring, this is the southern spring. This is last year's one. So yes. We'll have to get a move on here and make sure we get these reviews finished before the weather turns sour. It's a bit sour today actually, 20 to 30 kilometer an hour winds and this morning it was really cold. It was, I had to wear my jacket as you'll see in another video. Now, what have I got here? A few things to catch up on. You will recall that I put a new fan in the Sky Angel F16. It was the Hobby King aluminum, aluminum fan and I was going to report back a little later. Well, I've flown this thing quite a bit now and it's still working. The fan is still spinning. It hasn't blown to pieces. So far, I'm still happy with it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite good. Also, the little Radjet 400 I reviewed some time ago. You remember I love this little plane. Actually, it's not a plane. It is the Red Jet 400, not an RC plane, because it's under 100 grams. Well, I've had to replace one of the servos already. It went spastic on me. And the other one's going pretty much the same way. So if you're gonna buy one of these, buy yourself a couple of Hobby King, little Hobby King two and a half gram servos. That, they seem to be much better than the stock ones. I mean, these plug and play things, they come with the crappiest servos that they can find to keep the price down. So be prepared to change the servos. They don't last. And you really wanna change them before they fail in mid-air for obvious reasons. I've also got a couple of other projects on the go at the moment doing a little DLG, micro DLG, another not a plane plane. So far I've done the wing and the vertical stabiliser with the hinged rudder and everything. Um, just thought I'd uh, throw something together with a carbon tube. Haven't cut it to length properly yet, but oh, see how that goes. I love my DLGs and I want something smaller so I can fly it without an observer and without the hassles of it being a model aeroplane. So I'll see if that works out, I'll show you a bit more on that one. Um, I'm still working on this quad, of course, been working on this for ages. I've got the open pilot board, but I've also got the Hobby King board, one with the little LCD in there. I'm gonna try that out, see how that works. Most people seem to be quite happy with that. And there are a few mods and reflashes available on the internet now to make it even better. So we'll just fly it stock to start with, and then we might have a play, see if we can try some of those add-ons and see if they work better. There's a plane just about to take off, so it'll probably drown me out with the noise. So I'll just talk aimlessly in the meantime. Can you hear that? Great. Now, what else? Oh yes, I got a call this week from a New Zealand crowd who are making something they reckon is really, really cool. So I thought I'd tell you. It's called Wireless Copilot. And I must admit, I was thinking of doing something like this myself a while ago now. Modern RC gear comes with, a lot of it comes with telemetry. And, uh, but of course you've got to buy the sensors to go with it. You can do battery voltage, most of them do battery voltage as standard. But if you want to do your altitude or your airspeed or your anything else, you have to go and buy the sensors and it can get pretty spendy over time. And of course a lot of the other gear like, you know, your basic Turner gear and your basic Futaba gear doesn't come with telemetry at all. So a crowd in New Zealand here has come up with something called the, what, what is it, the wireless co-pilot. And it is a little transmitter you put in your model, which has built into it a uh, altitude sensor and um, a current sensor. So you can basically measure the current coming out. And I think it does a um, total watt sensor too. So basically to calculate how much battery you've got left. So it measures the milliwatts over time. So it knows how much, and say I've got a 2200 milliamp pack, it'll start giving you warnings when you get down to a predetermined number of milliwatt hours left or watt hours left. Isn't that wonderful, brilliant. So um, they asked me if I'd give them a plug. So I'm always keen to help people out with new products. Though I'd like to think the not so weekly, weekly news is also a good place for you to find out about these things. So you'll find a link to that company's website in the description below this video. Always check the description on my weekly news and all my videos because if I forget stuff, I put it in the description. So don't just watch the video, read the description. Uh, so yes, go to the website, have a look, see if it's something you're interested in. The price, mm, it's not so bad. Um, it's probably not as cheap as everyone would like, nothing ever is. But when you consider that some areas in the world, like New Zealand, we're limited to a maximum altitude of 400 feet above ground level. And if you go beyond 400 feet, well, you can get into serious trouble because you might hit something. And uh, the Civil Aviation Organization, which is like CASA and Australia and the FAA and the USA, they're not happy about people flying too high. So. Um, it's a, quite a handy little device from that point of view. Apparently they're going to be adding extra stuff. And one of the key things about this is it doesn't use a speech, well, it doesn't use an LCD. You know how all your, the stuff on your radio gear has an LCD and you've got to look down at the transmitter. Now, if you're trying to fly extremely fast or extremely high or extremely long way away or something, 
you don't want to look away from the model. It's silly, and I've always said that about the telemetry offered on RC systems. It's pretty much useless except for alarms. You can set an alarm, that's fine. If it beeps, great. But having it on LCD, nah. If you've got a plane you're trying to get to fly to 300 kilometers an hour, you're not going to be looking away from that model to look at the screen. Because by the time you look back, the plane will be gone. All you'll be left with is a little smoldering pile of wreckage. So this has a voice, a recorded voice. It's not a synthesizer, because I looked at synthesizers a while ago. And unless you're prepared to pay a huge amount of money, they all sound like crap. They all, I mean, it, um, Stephen Hawking's synthesizer is much better than any of the commercial products you can buy at a reasonable price for this sort of thing. So they've had someone record a lovely um, voice that speaks the information you need from this particular piece of telemetry. So go and have a look. I've got a recording on the website so you can hear what it sounds like. And they said they might send me one to review. If they do, I will. So you'll be able to see firsthand how it works, if it works, and what it sounds like on this channel. Uh, that, but that's a little heads up, just a little something new. And while I'm speaking of that, if there's people out there that have got new products or something that you'd like to see highlighted, you think other people would want to know about, then drop me an email, drop me a line, and tell me about it. Point me to the website. And if I think it's something that others might find useful, I'll tell everybody. And it's not advertising, I don't charge for it. It's just a case of, I want to make, I want to give people out there the information that they might be looking for. So let's spread the info, send me the info, I'll have a look and if it's good, I'll tell everybody. So there we go. And I, I won't necessarily endorse it or even review it, but at least I'll tell them it exists, if I think it's worth the knowing. That's pretty much it, I think, for this not-so-weekly weekly news. As I say, summer's drawing to a close. I've got to get going. We've got, you've seen uh, the progress I've made on the Bruce Lee. You've seen the Penguin. You've seen the Hobby King Sport Jet 70. And I've got a whole lot of other stuff. We've got part two of the XG8 review. I've also got the Aurora A9 review, which is all going to be done in conjunction with the Finwin Penguin, testing for range and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, if there's anything you want to see reviewed, let me know. I can't guarantee I can review it because the budget is pretty much blown already because it's been a, a very busy summer here and I've spent as much as I can on the bits I can afford to give you the inside information. That's it. I shall finish my coffee and uh, I shall see you again next time on the Not So Weekly Weekly News from RC Model Reviews. Comments on the bottom, questions on the bottom, thumbs up if you like it. Bye for now.